In some nice cases, you can calculate the derivative of a function directly from the definition of derivative. Here's an example. So suppose I've got a function f of x equals x squared. Right? I want to calculate its derivative. Well, the derivative of this function at x is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. I know what f is, so I can just plug that in. Right? This is the limit as h goes to 0 of what's f of x plus h. I plug in x plus h for x, and I get x plus h squared minus f of x, which is just x squared over h. I can calculate that limit. Okay. That's the limit of x plus h squared minus x squared. Let's expand out the numerator, right? So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of what's x plus h squared. It's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared over the denominator h. Now in this situation, right, I've got an x squared and a minus x squared. So those terms die. All right, and what am I left with? Just 2xh plus h squared over h. I'm taking the limit as h goes to 0. So I'm going to factor out an h from the numerator. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of what? Well, of h times 2x plus h. Here I factored out the h from the numerator divided by h. I'm taking the limit as h goes to 0 of h times 2x plus h over h. This is not defined when h equals 0. right? But this thing has the same values as just 2x plus h as long as h isn't 0. So they have the same limit. So this is the same as the limit as h goes to 0 of just 2x plus h. Right? Another way to see this, right? when people just cancel these terms. Right? I'm going to cancel those h's. So I've got the limit as h goes to 0 of this function, which isn't defined at 0. But its values away from 0 are the same as the values of 2x plus h. So it's got the same limit as just 2x plus h. All right, now how do I take the limit of 2x plus h? That's a limit of a sum. And the limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. So this is the same as the limit of 2x as h goes to 0 plus the limit of h as h goes to 0, as long as these limits exist. But they do, right? The limit of 2x as h goes to 0, this is the limit of a constant, right? 2x doesn't have any h's in it. It's constant as, as far as h is concerned, right? h is the thing that's moving here, and 2x isn't moving when h is moving. So uh, this is just 2x. So it's the limit of, of something that's not, not changing. So this 2x. And what's the limit of h as h goes to 0? Just 0, right? So this is 2x plus 0, I mean, just, it's just 2x. Right? And that is the derivative of, uh, of, of x squared. Right? But we calculated it just by using the definition of derivative and all the properties that we know for limits. There's other examples that you could try to do this way, too. Right? I mean, you could try to do x cubed, for example, this way. And uh, you know, in general, x to the n. 